I don't know, there's something really fun about this last time I played this game at the end of the day that I just really need to do it again. I don't have any items here, so I want to go and get items. I let me double check my cards to see if there's anything fun I can create. Could potentially sacrifice this card, but I don't want to do that quite yet. This is one of my most powerful cards, and I love her. But just to double check, I have mushrooms now. finish this apparently the way I got one of those little mushroom claw things was from doing my playing set by putting a squirrel and a skink down but do I even have a skink in my deck there's a skink in my no skink in my deck so I can't even accomplish what they're asking me to do but I definitely need to get items. She's scaring me. Mushrooms. Are they just going to take over? So I finally learned why this cage wolf was released from watching somebody else play this game. And when I got the caged wolf card out of this little mini game, and broke the cage, it actually broke it in this cabin area and then I can use the wolf to get here to get the knife in the squirrel which I used to gouge out my eye and get the fucking all-seeing eye business and do the clock thing and now actually make some huge progression in the game. That was a lot of fun for me. I need items. Scissors. Goat. Feathers. Failure! <sighs> I'm actually kind of scared of continuing. Here we go. Your eyes have fixed themselves on the small cabin. This feels very meta. And I took the overhead view by accident, so this shadow is even more dramatic. It's a warm light. A beacon in the oppressive darkness of the night. Surely, surely this cabin marked the end of your travails? Uh... Lights out on Washington Heights up the Percatea Way. Whoa, 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 very different. Whoa, 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 we're in first person right now. Okay, the panning of this music right now is pretty sick, but something just fell and it kind of looks like uh, an archway? A hand? This is, this is even more meta. Steps away from the strange cabin. You are presented with an opportunity. I don't offer my boons to just any traveler. If you're able to pass my trials, you will be rewarded mightily. What happens if I don't pass the trials? The Trial of the Find. The three drawn cards must include a card with a waterborne sigil. The Trial of the Winged. Three drawn cards must include a card with the airborne sigil. The Trial of the Swift. The three drawn cards must include a card with the sprinter sigil. And my current deck? They're not letting me look at my current deck?
I'm fucked? I don't remember what I have. I have my... I have an elk. I have the flying grizzly and the magpie. I think this is the closest thing I can get. Let the trial of the winged begin. Yes! Ah, the grizzly is the card with an airborne sigil. Success. I will grant you one of my most powerful boons. Cards that dramatically alter the game. You don't even need to draw them. The boon of the magpie's eye. When you draw from your deck, you may choose any card in your deck to draw. That's a magpie, and that's the eye, and that's the sigil. The boon of goat's blood. You will start a battle with a black goat on the board. The boon of the forest. You will start a battle with grand furs on all of your spaces. Magpie. Mag fucking pie, mate. We'll, we will repeat that once more. I'm getting... Oh, okay. Trial of the skins. The three drawn cards must include a pelt card. I don't think I have one of those. The Trial of Rarity and the three drawn cards must include a rare card. Trial of the Ring. If you have a ring, you pass automatically. I don't have a ring. Okay, I have like two rare cards compared to like no pelts. Rare pack rat! Yes! Oh, so that's what this is. That means rare. I thought it meant that you could not sacrifice it. That is a different symbol on the card. Holy shit. Another boon? Start with eight bones. Start with trees. Boon of the ambidextrous. You may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. Yo, Mr. Ambidextrous? I have to pee. Be right back. managed to get both of my boons. I rarely say this, but I am impressed. You know, probability and statistics, very important in life. You have been a worthy adversary, but unfortunately, I must soon put you to death. I wonder if there's a way out.
Oh, the light's out. Oh, fuck. It forced me to turn around. That freaked me out. Oh, I don't want to see him. You took your time out there. Yeah, dude. And I'm itching for another game, so I got the boons, bitch. This fucking grassy ass dude. Are you ready to play? No. Fuck! I hope you are adequately prepared. You better give me some good fucking smoke, bitch. Perhaps one more to be safe. A third candle, you cunt, just because I got three boons on you, motherfucker? Oh my god, he gets... Look at all these different faces on him. I'm serious, you cannot use that. There is no possible use for it. I'll place it on that shelf over there, for now. My advice? Avoid it. Amalgam? Mole Man. Did none of my boons trigger? I thought I can draw two at the beginning of my turn. I guess maybe I get to do that when I do choose something. I did lose something, so maybe I can... Attack. With my pack rat. Have the squirrel block the amalgam. Save greater smoke for later. I'm not, I don't want to put the cat down yet. Cat is good. I need to. I can't use the pack right yet. I'll just let him attack and let the squirrel reproduce so I can get an extra spot. But this is fucking three that I have to get through. And I don't know what he's gonna do afterwards. I get to choose my card. Strange larva? No, I want somebody to, to die first. I have a lot of pelts, apparently. I could have used my pelt thing. Let me kill a wolf and pick up a squirrel. I don't know if I should put down my cat yet. I might have to put down my cat. Put the cat here. Yo, this music is going off. Let me make sure I kill at least this amalgam. I'm gonna keep the squirrel there to tank, I th think. But then the squirrel doesn't have anywhere to go. Who do I have to tank? I have Stink Bug that can tank. Pack Rat can't tank. 
Mole Man will just be annoying. So I do have to kill the Mole Man eventually. Kill the Amalgam. Dinkbug will die next turn. Uh, actually might not die because the Mole Man will come over. Oh, actually comes back. I, I was wrong. On all my cards? On all my cards. I need one squirrel and I need one card here. He's not making any comment. I'm afraid for my strange larva who won't survive this. Because the amalgam is too strong. Do I have enough here to put down the turkey vulture? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I do. Turkey vulture it is. Uh, turkey vulture is going to attack directly. The squirrel won't be able to move. Puts me in a hard spot a little bit. At least I can negate the damage from this amalgam. Or is it gonna it's gonna attack me, huh? It did one damage to me. I need a squirrel. I'm gonna put the pack rat down. Somehow I need to kill. I don't have my cat anymore. My bird is gone. If I play this, I can get something else. This guy won't ever die, and if he dies, he comes back into my hand, unless the Prospector does some shit to me. So my best bet is to use him... right in the middle? With my two squirrels. Put it in the wrong order. He took it first? Okay, that was actually okay. My Oribo is now on the on the field. It will attack, at least. The squirrel's not going to attack me. I can kill the, the mantis god if I put down another squirrel, which I was supposed to do. I guess I have to sacrifice a coyote because I fucked up. I meant to pick a squirrel, not another card. Sorry, dude. Oh, got a black goat from that.
to put down a rare card. attack me. I will kill it this turn. I need to pick up somebody that will help me in multiple rounds later on from now. I just don't know when that's going to happen. I'm going to save this for later. Hopefully Oribo comes back to me. Stout. Field mice. Yes, you again. Fuck. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Trade for what you can, but know this, the rest will stay and fight for me. Dinky. Sparrow will attack twice. This will attack twice and then move. I only have one card I can trade. Sparrow's only one blood. Shit. At least Aribo's back. Well, he's gonna die next turn. He's stronger. This guy Stinky has three. Packrat hasn't died yet. Barrow can attack too, only if I remove the pack rat. I could put it here so it can attack here and here. The draw cards. I need to save that for one turn, I need to save this for another turn. Hopefully I can just pick out my cards. He hasn't said anything. A squirrel just in case. Barrow. We'll attack Pack Rat and over here and that's fine and then we'll move. Which is okay with me. I still have three candle lights that I have to deal with. That should end that first one. I don't know what face he's gonna use this time. You've capably endured the onslaught of rare creatures, yes. But the true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appeared before you. My heart's racing. In their eyes glimmered a recognition of kinship, but colored by guilt. They were betraying you. Kaminsky and Lewis? I remember that one fondly. So are these just other people now? So I could win this round if I make everyone float. I think I want to do that. But it's going to make me pick up some cards first. So let me get... my, my field mouse. And uh, I can get two squirrels later. I'd rather just have stuff in my deck. And then I'm going to use this to make everyone fly so I can just win this next round. And then let's attack. Hi, Jack. Thank you for lurking. I'm freaking out right now. This damned moon. It's dramatic, yes. But it provides no value to my board. I wonder... Is he taking a picture of the moon? Now that is value. I'm sorry, what? 
I'm fighting the moon? Mighty Leap. A card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Moon Strike. A card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space that is directly occupied by a creature. It will strike directly if no creature opposes it. It's one. Tidal Lock. At the beginning of its owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will pull small creatures like squirrels into its orbit. What what does small creature mean? At the beginning of its owner's turn, so not me. So is this a small creature? How do I know what small creature means? I will do seven plus three, 10 damage to it as I would right now. I could put in Stunted Wolf just to make sure. I'm going to pick out my Strange Larva for later on. And I do have a Black Goat I could put down for Grizzly Bear later on. But right now, I just need to put down my st my Stunted Wolf. And just do damage to the fucking moon! The fucking moon?! Is the moon a planet?! It's not. It's a satellite. Be careful now. Yeah, I know. It's nuts. My pack route, my sparrow, my stunted wolf is gonna die. If I don't have everything blocked, it's going to kill me and I can't leave a squirrel on the pitch. Can I cut it? Uh, let me just do it fair and square, huh? Let me put down all field mice then. If let me just sacrifice everybody. Farewell. And just keep doing field mice damage. He's going to do two. At least unless it runs away from me. Forgot about that. Let's squirrel down. I have to draw first. I have all my cards here. I don't have any cool cards. keep putting field mice down. How much does he have left? 14? 7 plus 2 is 9 plus 4 is 13. Strange larva down, I guess. One, two, seven, plus five is thirteen. That's okay. I have to save some cards now. What do I have here? Just pelts. 
I can tank, and my last squirrel card here, I have to kill the moon and then do five damage, right? Moon dead. You really destroyed the moon. Yeah. I did. Because you took a picture of it, bro. I suppose all that's left is to finish me off. Yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. Go on. We just did it. Lights out on Washington Heights. Up at the break of dawn, I wake up. I got this little punk. I gotta chase away. Oh my! Did I just? I think I just beat him. Oh. No, you just got shot in the head with your little VCR camera, bro. What is this? Oh shit. Oh shit. Is right, bro. Play it again. Am I gonna run out of... Oh, I pressed stop to go back. I said, oh shit. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today, <laughs> I am opening Catch Monsters packs and digging for that epic, shiny Transcend Dog! And here, I'll add some crazy VFX with like. I can't believe he's just making fun of everybody. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am about to open my first pack. Feeling good about this one. Feeling real good. He's not even wearing gloves. Okay. He's not even and showing it to us one at a time. Rare is a Birchkin. Not exactly a viable competitive card, but hey, it's a pretty one. Is he cute because right. he's white or is he cute because I'm horny? Next pack. Feeling even better about this one. Or is he because he sounds like a I gay? I gotta say, these cards are feeling extra silky today. I mean... He opened an entire pack and so just smooth. is... is not sure what they're Only doing there, telling the, us uh, about rare factory, ones? But um, these are feeling good in my hands. Okay. In your hands? You want to know what Let's else what will feel here. good in your hands? My Some dick. jank cards. Maybe a few additions to my draft cube. We'll see. What is a draft and cube? And our rare for this pack is... Bandog! Not exactly <laughs> riveting so far, but we have many packs to go. Next pack, here this we go. It's a minute and a half. Did he get a phone call? I'll just cut out this part. We're going with the old Nokia ringtone here. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is a vintage pack opening video. Today I'm opening a few super rare old packs I snagged at a garage sale. I've got four packs. Is this of the guy who ends up? Taking a picture of the moon? Believe the deal I got on these. Now, not all of you will even remember this game. I'm barely old enough to have uh, seen these going around in my childhood. Uh, for whatever and reason, how old are you now? Thirty. Cards and then uh, thirty-one. Stop what am I saying? Uh, there's not a huge market for them anymore, but at the rate I got them for, there's not really much to lose. That being said, a foil mantis god goes for a couple hundred bucks. So, fingers crossed. Ooh, mantis god. Really cool art on these. Definitely stands the test of time. You're not gonna show it to me? And our rare for this pack is Blue Mage. Cool looking card, but not going to be worth very much. All right, let's see what we got going on in the second pack. Ah, uh, this pack has been opened and resealed. Hope no one snuck the rare out of it. That would suck. You want to suck the rare out of me? Come on, people. Honestly. Who opens and reseals a pack? It's all rare cards. Yeah. There's a set of coordinates on this card. 
looks like they were drawn on with a pen. And you're going to look it up on Google north, Maps? 123 degrees west. That's on the globe in the game. 49, uh, 1, 2, 3. I think... Hold up. Rewind. I think... Uh, uh, I, uh, I don't know. I just pause the fucking thing like the fucking dumbass smart person that I am. 49 degrees north. 120 degrees west. 123 west. Uh, I think... I'd have to check, but I think that's pretty nearby. <laughs> Cabin in the woods. Wait, did, did I see his butt? This is the one I just watched, right? Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is a vintage. Yeah, okay. All right, you guys. <laughs> He's actually I'm out in here. the woods. Living my best life. Uh, yeah, he's gay, living his Got best my life. Trusty headlamp and shovel. Always come prepared, kids. All right. That's not a headlamp, that's a, a regular there lamp. Yeah. Okay. Those are two iPhones Ooh. with fake cards on it. Getting close. I think. Assuming there is. A thing to get close to. Does he have well maybe a GPS? A massive waste of massive waste of now he's dead. A roar. Huh. Alright. That's why you always bring an extra battery, boys and girls. Every time. You gotta come prepared. I wonder if he used a real camcorder for this, or he must have ran this video through some nice filtering. What is that? Oh, that is his compass All GPS right. thing. It looked like an old ass this phone. Is it. And so I started digging! Maybe that's still not a headlamp, that's and a now? lantern. We dig. Oh. Do you hear that? Huh. I give a 75% chance it's a rock. But only one way to find out. It's that body, bro. How is he filming this unless he has it on his head? Is that? Oh my god, you guys, I can't believe it. There's actually something here. He put a GoPro, strapped a GoPro onto his head. Alright, stop filming. That's a very, really poor digging floppy disk. Oh, like a lull. Flashbacks. Are you seeing this? Does anybody even have a floppy I'm, disk uh, reader anymore? I'm a little confused. First of all, that floppy disk is open, so the data on that magnetic disk might be going bad, which is probably why this game exists. That's so expensive. Cheaper than a foil steam ball, really. All right, fine. Look at that mask on that left. Wow, great right video. Little, on a little, he looks really cute here. Wait, back it up. Wow. wow. Okay, I think it's official. Great I need video. to rub one out again. <laughs> okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. He's great teeth. Maybe that's why. That sounds like a disc. 
not a disk drive. It sounds like a CD-ROM drive, not... Yeah, that's me playing the game on stream. <laughs> this is too meta now. We go into the cabin, I get all those boons, and then here we go. Time to get fucked. What is this, to leave? Stop browsing footage. Yeah, I got my coordinates. What is this shit pie? I didn't even get to see Lewis or Franklin that one time. But, sir, lights out. I do not celebrate often, and I seldom give gifts. But you, challenger, are worthy. Please do not be polite. Dig in. Can I leave? Can mm -hmm. I put out the candle? Is something wrong? Your prize awaits. Yeah, it looks like shit. Very well. Come with me. It's because I didn't eat it. I was trying to move around. Stand right there. Is he killing me? Who gave you that? You absolute ingrate! Give it back! Um... <laughs> oh, look at all these dead bodies! I got a picture of him?! Holy shit, mate. I don't like that sound. Um... I need a candle. Got a light. I know you, you're... Shivering. I mean, I killed the moon, what did you expect? <laughs> Is that what was flickering that? Hold up, I need to get my bearings straight because I lost that door. This is the door? Yes, this is the door. I'm clicking around right now. Was I not supposed to do that? Bro, it's too dark in here. I'm waiting for, like, my cursor to change. <laughs> but, uh... I don't know. Last saved one minute ago. Um, help. I don't want to, like, restart. Is that what I'm supposed to do? I'm literally trapped in the closet. Just fucking call me R. Kelly. It did save. I'm not- I'm not getting something.
I mean, I didn't see anything else I could click on, so I clicked on that thing. God, please. I've been in here for two minutes. Very loud to me. Right click now. Double click. Jump, up, down, Q, R, W. What is this game? I don't know, but I'm lost right now. And I'm stuck in the closet and they won't let me out. It's a card deck building game with some point and click adventure aspects to it. And I, I don't know what to do. I, I, I've been in this room for three minutes. Stuck in a closet with a BB channel icon? Yeah. A new game plus? I was supposed to just leave like that. And they gave me a new game plus. I go, what the is this? They just installed a virus on my machine. In the beginning, the world did not know cards. That is, until the day the scribes arrived. You know who that is on the bottom left? That's the stoat. They had their own method of inscription to create cards. Grimora used her quill to inscribe the epitaphs of the dead. Leshy used his wildlife camera to capture beasts. He's the guy I just killed. PO3 used a particle scanner to copy the CPUs of robots. And Magnificus used his brush to paint his wizard pupils. Guy Hatton has a nice ass. What the cards created, the scribes had solidified their power. Until one day, a challenger arrived to replace one of the scribes. Me? Uh... It, it's a pixel game now? Choose a starting deck to mark my ambition. Wizard? CPU CD boy? Wildlife? Or whatever that first person was, uh, the writing lady. This is... This is the stout. This is the... No, this is the stout. This is the ladybug. This uh, is the stunted wolf. And I didn't get this card, one of the cards. Oh, I have to move. Look at me. Look at my beard. Cute little pixel boy. Your ambition is to replace PO3 and become the scribe of technology? Yes. The cards were added to your collection. Alright, see you guys. Uh, 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 I'm so confused. I thought this was a card game. We have a world map. Woof. I was just about to call it quits out here. Uh, but now that there's a challenger in our midst... It's back to work for me! I should be able to get this bridge fixed in. Full disclosure, it'll take me exactly as long as it takes you to defeat one of those scribes. So, 
Uh, come back later? Thanks, dude. Oh, I just came from there. Cabin in the woods was where I just was. What is this? 273? Yeah, that was the code. You pried the chest open and found a card pack inside. A beastly card pack? I'm sorry, they're making fun of Pokemon card collectors right now. Salmon, waterborne. At the end of the owner's turn, the salmon will move in the direction of this inscribed in the sigil. Grayuli, which is rare. Bloodhound, which I've seen before. Mage pupil, an entirely new. Oh my god, the game music is in chiptune now. If the mage pupil's owner's controls no mox cards the mage people perishes that's what the sigil means what is this insecto drone will strike an opponent directly even if there's a creature opposing it yeah because it can fly and three of them the cards were added to my collection dag damn it this is the prospector guys <gasps> the prospector's here, and the fisherman hints is here, and I don't know who these eyes are in the background. That dang hound got herself lost again! You think you're getting past? Think again! Not until I get some proof my girl's alright! No fish, no pass. Two, seven. Oh my god. Three. You take a stinking pile of meat from the safe? There's a faint odor where the meat once was. Oh god, they're even harder. Hold up, can I go in the closet? <gasps> I can go in the closet, you guys. I'm kind of scared to talk to whomever is still in the closet. But first... Let me do this. This person will fly and do two damage. This is bifurcated strike, will do two damage. This will fly and I need to do... This is gonna... It's gonna kill immediately, but I can fly over and do not enough damage, huh? But I can move it down. Two, 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 five, and this will move over and get killed. Ding. The drawer, the drawer creaked open and you found a pack inside. Elk. Another Yuri Yuli, a bloodhound. Sarcophagus. Four bones. Oh, this is a different kind of thing. This is not the number of cards I get. It's a different kind of currency to play the card down. Well, the sarcophagus will grow into a more powerful form after one turn. Okay, but it costs four bones. Another card pack? Horakal? Waterborne? Also, when it's played, it provides an energy cell. Okay, so it's a fucking battery, mate. One blood. Gem Fiend. If the Gem Fiend's owner controls no more Mox card, Gem Fiend perishes. I don't 
know what a mox card is? Altered deck. Oh wait, did I open them all? Alright, there's nothing else to open in here. It was just one puzzle. Oh, he's a, a salesperson? You wish to trade? You don't perchance have any belts, no? That is a disappointing, but I also accept foils. No, I'm not giving up my Aribo. Squirrel ball at the end of the... I had... These are the number of foils, does that mean like rare cards? This costs eight, this costs one, this costs two, this costs two. I can get the stoat back? I have to buy... <gasps> Wait, is this the, am I, is my previous life the salesperson now? It's, it saved me five seconds ago. Stop shaking. The only thing you have to fear is your own inadequacy. Yeah, I have a small cock. Behold me. I am Leshy, the scribe of beasts. We share a desire for you to challenge me, but uh, first... I know what you're thinking. No. This is not my legendary camera. Not the one I used to create beast cards. This one is a mere replica. You may use it to create photos of the beast in these woods. My subordinates, the prospector. Did you see the little rat pe pop up? The angler and the trapper. They each require a photo before they will consider battling you. Return to me when they are all defeated. These squirrel balls, they look like the squirrels are fucking, just saying. Would you like a meat candle? No. I could put the food here. Drop the food. Take a picture. Aww. Well, be darned. That's my girl. I let you pass me and in into yonder pond, but uh, damn damn it! First, we got a battle. Well, darn it all, your deck ain't right. Get you Lee at least twenty cards in it. Tab. I get to build a deck now? Oh my god. Different world types. This is what I started with. I have five of these. <laughs> the end of an owner's turn, 49er will move in direction. Secto drone cost three. Cost five. Thick droid. Steam bot. I don't even know how you get these energy cells.
So I'll probably need one of these. Everything's just like totally changed about this game, and so I'm very unsure of how to approach it now. Don't, I don't know how where bones come from. I don't know if I'm going to lose all of this when I die. Don't know what Mox cards are. Well, here goes nothing. Yeehaw! You fixed it! Now let's battle! Yep, I'm PO3, okay? This is what the stoat looked like. You picked my starter deck. That means you have to learn to use energy. Do I really have to explain this to you? Yes, you do. At the start of each turn, you increase your max energy. Spend it or not, it does not matter. At the start of your turn, your energy refills to the max. Get it? I don't know why I got so many of these. What does this mean? 16 cards. Description of the card. I only have enough to put down one. A, s a squirrel. See that? You spent your energy to play the card. You get it back next turn? Sick of hearing from me? Well, I'm sick of talking. I've got important work to do. You'll see me later. Yeah, I, I guess so, bro. It's only one at a time. Two damage to me. Three health. How do I refill it again? I have no bones. I don't even know what this button does. I need like a fucking tooltip. If I spend it, will I get it back? Well, it can attack the squirrel and move over, but I'd rather have the squirrel there so it doesn't attack me. So at the end of six turns, I'll have full energy. That's what this is telling me. Two to my one. Now I have three. I can fly over and attack, or I can just attack it outright. It's automatically sh giving me a new card. I don't have to deal with squirrels at all. But how do I guarantee that? Well, I have to put this down so I don't die. If he wants to move, he's gonna die. I don't have any, I have one bones from that card dying. Okay, so I could wait, do it again, keep attacking.
and then wait the next turn, and then it refills, right? The fucking frog is coming. I have two sarcophagus cards? That's kind of weird. Bullfrog would block the flying, but he won't come until next turn. I could put this down? To do some damage. It'll do one, two. I'm only up by one. One, two. It'll move over, do damage here. This will do one damage to me. Warrior Niner moves over, kills my card. It's a one down. I have to win by three. I don't have any more attack cards because I didn't build my deck right, I guess. Now I'm full of energy now, much later on. He's still gonna attack one by one. This could attack. This is still gonna attack. I can put it down because it's all six. Coyote is not described, but will kill mine after one turn. I have four bones, but that doesn't mean the sarcophagus is gonna do anything good. Okay. I can kill it. This is... I mean, I'll just win here. And not put any cards down. Oh, did you like that? Did you like that, um... I got two foils from that. Oh, so that's teeth. Fair is fair? You beat me like a dog. Take this. Some say these here cards are better in gold! Bloodhound, Mantis God, yes. The Warren. Bolt Hound requires six energy to that empty space. Mage, mage Pupil. Alter my deck. I have a max of that much. I don't need two sarcophagi. I need one of these six things in there. Team bot. Probably use more. 49er. Thick droid. I could I could have more. I can have I need to have at least twenty. Old hound elk. This doesn't make sense for me to have blood in here. I didn't even know how to use it. Something about putting the pussy in a sarcophagus? One day, my friend. One day. Bolt Hound, Sarcophagus, Steamboat. The thing is, Leap Bolts are cheap. And that could help me later on. Four of these. It's because they're cheap to put down, and so I have to wait. But then my cards later get very powerful. Quote unquote powerful. It maxes out at six. So, like, the beast dude deals in squirrels, and my CD guy 
PO3 PO only deals in energy and takes six turns to power up. So at that case, I need to have some leap bots around. Maybe something that doesn't require. Just in case. Just don't know how to use it. Wait, can I sacrifice one of my things to put these cards down? Is that how it works? Oh yeah, I forgot. When everything changes, I don't understand a damn thing. Too many cards. <sighs> the way yonder pond is clear. What is that a picture of? Oh, fish? Or the other dude? Place the photo of bait on the line. Place it. Take a picture of the shark. It gets stuck on a rock. And then go say hi to the fish. Fish. Fresh fish good. Still must beat. Not this fucker. Tell me something special about this. It's gonna be waterborne and then it's gonna hide after it attacks. So I I have to put this down to guard and then it's gonna attack and run over. Got one bone, then it moves to a new space, hides. I only have the opportunity to put two down. So, I need to make sure it attacks. Well, how much does it do? Like, one or two damage? Maybe it's gonna move again. Should I just do direct damage? Because I can't kill it directly, but it can hurt me. I'd rather have it me just stay and see how much it negates. Oh, wait. Gonna... I forgot. Damn it, emerges and kills me. Cool. Honestly, this is what I have to do. Attack it directly, get up, and then get bones collected. I don't have anything I could put down. And it's gonna do four, four damage on me, so it's gonna be minus two. I could put this down. I could put this down. But I need to negate damage. This will still negate it and it'll give me a battery pack. Provides an energy cell to its owner. Right now I'm at five. It won't benefit me to do anything except to attack and move over. I just lost. Thanks for fish, but no pass until beat. Okay, so it's not like... the game before... I'm keeping this around just to sacrifice. I 
just have to put something down to tank. This kind of sucks. to attack. Mage cards requires Mox cards to exist and therefore dies. Bitch, I don't fucking know what a Mox card is! I'm up by one. I'm gonna do... Now I'm minus one. It'll tank one hit at least. This will tank one and move over. So I'm gonna go back to minus one. What is this? Kingfisher it can fly and can also die, but it can't come down yet. attacks the empty spot. This just attacks. Plus three. It's gonna do two damage to me. So now I'm plus one. Moves over. That thing I hope stays. I have six. Plus one, this is not going to do enough for me. But at least it's not going to come down. This is going to die for me though. I... It would... It would die. Move it over. I guess I I didn't count, and I did get an extra one. Got a foil. You beat, you pass. First, take a card pack. Automation energy bot. When it's played, it provides an energy cell to its owner. Rayuli Elk Fawn. It's it's a little excessive having these because they they take up too too much too soon. Oops. Shit. Actually, let me take an automation off. I have three of these. I have how many of those? Three. Two. Two. Road one. Steam bot one. Sarcophagus I haven't really used. Is there a way to sort this? 
I would love to have this resorted by the the card value. Me? Work continue. Find fish for Leshi. Trapper is just staring for something to land in here. Patches of dried blood crackled as you pried the chest open, but two packs were inside. Kato! Yes! Gem Fiend. I love it. Meat bot is counted as blood rather than one blood when sacrificed. Meat bot. Oh, how the streams cross, my friend. I'm gonna spend the rest of this game just altering my deck. We're doing this shit over. Um, how many of these did I put in? I have two Frocker. Infinity Cat is stuck on the board. Elk Farm. This, okay. I'll, I won't use this one. Do I have to lure all this thing in? And scare it? Fucking stupid ass dog. Come on, dog. How do I interact it so it dies? Do I m move this? Oh, okay. Is it a dog or is it a rabbit? There you go. You got a pelt. All right, sir. I brought ye a pelt. Well, it might not be this dude, actually. It might be the guy who's selling things. Yeah. I fully did not expect, like, the game genre to change. Unless you want good fish. Fresh fish. Corrupted fish. Pretty picture! I don't know why you just don't feed your fucking dog, mate. You have brought a pelt? I am pleased. Yet another turn of the skinning knife. It is time to set up another trap! I shaved my face. I'm very cute. Smell the hair's blood on you.
Burrowing trap can't be sacrificed when an empty space would be struck, the burrowing trap will travel to receive that strike instead. Also, when the burrowing trap perishes, the creature opposing it perishes as well. And then a pelt is created in your hand. Bullfog will block flying. Put it down. Sacrifice it. Let it attack. An extra energy cell. Moves and traps. Can't use it yet, but at least I have another battery, which is incredible. Nil nil. Procol emerges from the deep. Procol. Another battery. When I use it. A. Then I could put this dude on. To so at least tank the hit. It will die. Now I have five. It will do one damage. Then it'll take this hit. But that's fine. My poor battery boy is dead. Minus two. This is the cock blocker. I can kill... Kill this. Nothing is placed down yet, but I think it would be better for me to kill this card first because it'll do more damage to me and I can sustain one hit. Pew pew! Burrowing Trap digs down and pops out to block. Bl block block. Dix. Steambot. We'll kill. We'll block. But then, will it do overlapping damage and kill the coyote too? It will. Blocked. Death. But the coyote needs to die. Didn't it take leftover damage? I don't get it. Um, guess you have to, to tank. Leapy boy. While I do one, two, four damage and get a plus one. One, two, three, four. I have to just finish it. No bonus. The trap is shut, yet the prey escapes. The trapper waits for the next victim. You've defeated the three of us now. Leshy awaits. You've received a card pack. Bullman. Big tank. Null conduit. May complete a circuit but provides no effect. Don't know what that means. Hover mage. strike directly even there's a creature opposing it but I don't know what that thing means mole man in pixel form looks hilarious oh he changed his his head how's it hanging bro mole man is cheap but having rock car is kind of handy. I don't know if I want Warren. I think it would be better if, if I needed to tank a card and just tank everywhere, Mole Man could do it. Let me see that card again, honey. Let me see that card again.
I don't know if it's a good place to experiment, but at least like the whole new game plus idea, not new game plus, but new game where I die. Leap leper meat bot. Take one off. You wish to trade? So, squirrel. Well, well. A squirrel is a regular thing. Squirrel ball, and it drops a squirrel. <laughs> I want Aribo. Aribo, please! I want to see the thing pop up. God, I missed some lore by finishing that game the last time, but that's okay. At best at the unhinged prospector, the gormless angler, and the enigmatic trapper. You found yourself standing before your ultimate match, Nishi, scribe of the beasts. Your ambition is to replace PO3? Good. Though if you do not defeat me, you will not get that chance. Oh shit. Steal yourself. Or my beasts will show you no mercy. Only thanks. Do not spare your creatures. My camera is waiting to capture them. The moment their demise. And my beasts are famished. So, Coyote. Music's going off. Yes, work. I placed that in a terrible place. Can I undo? Control Z. I should have put it here so I could kill the coyote, but oh no, I'm dumb. Whoa! Oh my god, this music! What is this, mole? Okay. Oh my god, I am in love with this music! Mole's just gonna die. <laughs> what is this? An elk? Dude is dead. What is this? Mole man don't need it. Times one. You won't be needing those. I have something better. Hmm. We never did finish your death card. There wasn't enough death. I hope you don't mind my filling in the blanks with the stuff that I just put out. Crawl car emerges from the deep. What is this? I have amalgams. He's gonna tank everything. The bear's gonna come out, which, I mean, it's fine. I don't have enough bones yet. And I don't think I need to sacrifice anybody yet. Keep blocking, fucker. You're dead, bitch. Okay, dude is dead. 
Yeah, I'm pussy, bitch. Does this give me seven? It doesn't. Be my cat. Uh, the great scribe was incredibly bested by a cat. Far away, a light enveloped a long forgotten monument. Do I get his deck? Avenging Druid. You had triumphed, narrowly avoiding tooth and claw. The scribe of beasts was defeated. That you were able to defeat me? Beggar's belief. Is that an expression that I just don't know? But now I must yield to you, yet bend over. Present your whole. Happy Halloween. My only regret is that our battle was so brief. Surely the summit of victory is made sweeter by a more arduous ascent. Heal my s- Irululi? Grizzly? No conduit. Green mage. The power of the green mage is equal to the number of green gems that the owner has on their side of the table. Girl, the fuck is that mage shit? I'm sure it's powerful, but I'm too dumb. Cat. Rockar. Mole. Mummy Lord. Mummy Lord, kind of cool. Battery low. The scribe of beast was defeated. Why is my battery low? Am I looking at the fucking VCR? I don't know if I need this many of them now that I have these battery boards. Spot maxed out. Spot placed. These are new, but I don't know how to use them. So these are costs. Stop. What is that? Is that Pog 13? I had to see your face after you lost. <laughs> You're just so bad. It's no wonder we're back here again. And we would have been. Even sooner if the disc wasn't lost. Look at the stone face! Take a long look at this face. Because you'll never see it again. I'm done being your pet, you stinking beast. Hmm. I pushed it too far that last time. So this guy killed the other scribe. Why don't they see? To live as a beast would be the noblest thing. Even so lowly a creature as a stoat? I wonder if they have any new dialogue after I beat them. Unless you trust, I not disappoint. Find corrupted fish. Fish, 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 fish. Off with you! Maybe I should go see the trapper? I mean, my battery's draining. I don't know why. You wish to trade? I, I don't have enough. But I want my Oribo back.
Ah, I guess I have to go defeat other people first? I'm gonna go pee. So I guess these are the four different scribes and I have to go talk to one of them. Maybe I'll save... Maybe I should go to Robot Boy for the Robot Boy packs. And that would be helpful to my cause. Challenge me? Let's see your deck. Weak cards. Total lack of synergy. This pile really doesn't stand a chance against me. Look. I'm trying to finish my conduit control list here, but... The bots? There's... But the bots they're sending down the line are trash. Get those workers to send me something... Good? Get them to throw themselves on the line if necessary. And... Please. Have a decent deck by the time you're done. Jesus. Pog 3. Pog no champ 3. Very new puzzles that I don't understand. Look at all these, like, disc things. Let's look in the recycling. You run through the junk cards and find a card pack. Techno card pack. Meatbot. Curve hopper? Other creatures within a circuit completed by the buff conduit gain one power. Mage Knight. Cat. Somebody texted me? I don't know why my phone buzzed. Oh, okay. Except I don't know what that symbol means. Get it. Is 
does it do the damage back? Like when it dies, does it explode other cards? When it dies, it exploded the other two cards, I guess? I, I had to guess. When the bot dies, the creatures opposing it, as well as adjacent friendly creatures, are dealt 10 damage. Explode bot. And this is bomb is played. Fill all empty spaces with explode bots. Interesting. Leap. Mage. Sarcophagus. -y. Buff conduit. Shutterbug. When Shutterbug damages another creature, that creature perishes. Also, when the creature moves into the exposing space nearby, they are dealt one damage. So when a new card comes in, they get shot on sight. <laughs> Damn. Gravedigger at the end of the owner's turn, the Gravedigger will generate one bone. I like those cards. I press tab. <gasps> I don't have to go into that escape menu. I can just press tab. I need it. I need it. I don't want explode bot. Where's that bone boy? The grave digger? 25 card deck. Why? I mean, Shutterbug is just fun. I love the energy bots. Box module, when it's on the board, it provides green, orange, and blue gem to its owner. Sentry drone. On site. Uh, kind of alarming. I mean, I understand the use for this now. I mean, it kind of cracks me up. 29 art deck. Lot of possibilities. And I put this on there. Too many cards. Box module. Pens. 30 cards. What's the trapper doing here? You wish to trade? Oh, they have different items here. Foils are five. I guess foils are the same as teeth, and I just didn't realize it. Now how do I solve these puzzles? Oh! I have to connect the circuit? I 
I didn't realize those are cards. What is it? What do you want? Can't you see that I'm very, 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 very busy here? What? Poe's not happy with my output? But I'm merely the inspector. Put better bots on the line? I would need to. Well, just who are you to be carrying orders from PO3? PO3 would only trust someone with some semblance of card game skill. I'm very busy. But I must know if you are qualified to give me orders. B. Yo. The card areas are different. Buff Conduit. With Elite Bot. I see how Buff Conduit can really make a difference. Uh, You have to tank it for a while. The whole circuit tricks now is wild. One more. Not enough bones. Can't do anything. It'll kill it and it'll stop. And he'll come back down with another one. Or even. But now they just got buffed. But now I'm full. Don't know if I need to use that yet. That's too... What happens if I... Maybe I should just kill it. Oh, it's gonna do me damage. I don't understand how this connects across. Well, now this is doing two damage because it connects over between the two. This is gonna kill this one. This is... I don't know what the fuck this does. made it from, like, the death. You use the, use the hammer to destroy your own creature and make space. That's what this is. Kill it. Unless I do kill this and kill this and put her on board. Now 
have enough bones. Kill everybody. God. Yeah. That was the right choice. Oh dear, your message from PO3 must indeed be genuine. As I mentioned, I am a mere inspector, not an engineer, not a designer. I cannot send new bots down the line, but uh, I... I can send myself. I am proud to have served PO3 faithfully, well met stranger. Holy shit. I want to watch his head go down the line. I'm gonna go buy Yuri Yuli. Oh, I mean Oribo. Oh, he's not gonna appear on this side, is he? Oh, there he is! Let me see what he says when I have one person go over. But that speech bubble's covering it. Oh, it just did it. Did. Did I. lag? Figure out why they're sending me trash bots to scan. Alright. See you, dude. I tried to walk straight, but I am gay, so I do not know how to walk straight. You wish to trade? Welcome back. Time to put my friend back in here. Where is he? A repo perishes a copy of his. Yeah, bitch. Thirty's a lot. Definitely feel like I've gotten my money's worth. I, I'm gonna have to watch this guy's stream just to see what the, the liquid jar does, because I did get to see that in my playthrough. And he did it, and I was just like, I need to not do it. That's teaching me how to make circuits, and I'm not really getting it. That makes it three, huh? Weird how I have to place it all down. That's the circuit, huh? Ha ha, get out. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. 
Let me out. <laughs> what was that? We are. I am the melter. They send me raw materials and I... Well, you can see how it works. Let me out. Not another word out of you. We must have a card battle. Was he on ice? Factory conda empty spaces within a circuit completed by factory con that spawn leap bots at the end of its own. Damage. This is the poison one. I can use the hammer. Maybe I can wait a turn. And I don't see anything coming down the line, so I don't really need to use it yet. Shatterbird's touch of death kills instantly. Oh good, because this was a buff bot and I didn't realize it. Will I win? One, two... I can if I kill this. Only the opposing space. Help me. Mm, excellent battle. Now, with that aside, what did you come to tell me? PO3 wishes for better bots for his scanner? Mm, that is difficult, you see. I melt the metal, but I cannot reprogram the stamping machine. No, there is a way to send at least one new bot down the line. No, 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 no. Ha ha ha. Yes, for PO3. Um, he had two personalities. Is that the bot? We're gonna watch the bot. God, he just threw himself into the fucking fire. It 
So this is like scrap metal parts. Is he gonna appear? There he is. He's going through that machine. Let's see what he comes out as. Kind of like a jack-o'-lantern. There's more conduit puzzles for me to do after this. But I'm here for the lore. And apparently, this seemingly innocuous card game about a floppy disk gone wrong is chock full of it. There she is! The jack-o'-lantern. We'll soon see what her face is made out of. Yup. <laughs> oh, I haven't done these. So many cats that I just won't use unless I want to unless I'm feeling catsy, but I don't have any Don't have any squirrels Let me just double check that this is not something that I can talk to I almost missed those little GameCube looking machines. They're like little tiny printers. Wait, it's five! Minus three. They never really explained what these are. Weird. I don't know if that was logic or anything like that, I just did it. After attacking, the skeleton perishes. It's free! Double gunner. Give me that free skeleton. I can take something out. Not really a fan of the null stuff. I understand why they exist, but... I 
I don't know how much I'm gonna use it in my deck building. Mrs. Bomb. Nectroid. Ruby Golem can't be sacrificed. Ruby Mox is created in its place. Another skeleton. I feel like the skeleton is free. Attacks and then dies. Can it be sacrificed? Probably. Put it down for free. Mrs. Bomb. 32. Do I want 32? Normal man. It's mummy lord. Just strong. Let me bring somebody back. Do I have a sarcophagus? -y? I do. I have 30. Collected those. He's like taking stuff out of the fucking dirt. How do I talk to him? Do I have to go in the water? Oh. Oi, mate. I know what you're here for. You're asking me to take a dive. Uh, but I can't accommodate you, mate. Got special orders. In it? Looking to dredge something special? We can duel. Hey, maybe. Even give you something for it if you win. But I can't be taking a dive. PO3 will understand. Fish boy. He himself is a card. Everybody's a card. Skeleton collapses into a pile of bones. You know what, mate? Can't take me eyes off me work here. I'll give you these, son. Uh, here, take your back. Sapphire Mox can't be sacrificed while it's on the board and provides a blue gem to its owner. Raven. Shutterbug, Victroid. Now off with you. I need to concentrate. Oi! Is that? Field 3 is gonna reward me big for this one! What is flashing? Off with you. The game is glitching. How long is it going to take for that glitchy thing to come up here? Did I fuck it up? Still going up the escalator. Still something you're after? I gave you your pack. Oh my god. 
total glitch fest. Why do I- what does my character even look like this? Imagine if I got to pick it. Glitch box. What is the glitch box gonna turn into? Shiny glitch box. Red glitch box. Is it glowing? It's not glowing anymore. It's like a pile of ashes. Pile of ashes to what composed thing. Up to black box again. But it's not flashing as much. I wonder if I could take it off the thing. Bots haven't gotten much better, but you bet all of my coworkers are actually won. Give me that duck again. Wow, you beat them with that? All right. Maybe there's some synergies I missed. Let's go then. Hold up. Fuck. Too early. You see those conveyor belts? Just like my factory. At the very least, they ought to test your lane positioning. Oh, I fucked it up. I fucked up. I fucked up already. See how that works? Okay, your turn. Explode bot is mine now. Oh, this is meat blood. Counts as three. <laughs> what in the fucking world? I could blow them up. don't know what's going on. Melter. When the melter par perishes, the creature inside its place is released.
mummy. Melter releases the creature inside. It's a meat bot. So if I leave that there, it can continue on this little attack. I could sacrifice this if I needed to, but I don't. And it's not going to attack me back. So I'm just going to leave it there. The explode bot was dealt overkill damage. Do overkill damage and then go to the other side, which is not very good for me. To kill it. gonna fly over so that's fine. Okay, dead bird. Steam bot. Not sure if I wanna kill it yet. I don't know if I want to give this to the other side quite yet. Can put this down and get my enough damage done. So now I'm up to a tanked one. Now we're back to minus one. I could buff it, make it stronger. Put bombs everywhere else though? No, because then I won't be able to attack. But I will be able to tank it, wouldn't I? Why is it not buffed? I'm confused. Is that what the null is? So now she's on my side. She's gonna take it and die. I could sacrifice them for Aribo and just win outright. Oh, he just perished. Put it down. Jess. Perfect. Free shot. Death. Insta. Cool! Let's go. Eight. Oh. Scanner's online. Which card to scan? Hmm. Just kidding. <laughs> Obviously the one with the best stats. The stat line could be better. Just copied my shit. Your move. Free shot, it's dead.
each time a random card dies on a card, I get so strong because they're all linked. Damn, nice luck you had. I guess playing a perfect game is no match for good RNG. I've killed two. Accomplished automation, I guess you won. And, uh, you even decided that I am the scribe you will defeat. <laughs> As if you have a choice. I see why no conduits are important. The walkers, when the walkers die, four are awarded instead of one. But it costs four to put down, but they can attack. And they're a full family. Shatterbug was actually pretty powerful in that last match. Force Mage. If a creature would attack, Force Mage, it does not. It prevents the other side from attacking. That's what that no means. No means no! Battery is low. Uh... Okay. I think I've just got to send it. He's sending an email? To whom am I concerned? I found your disc. It's a bit formal. He has an Hello Xbox there. controller. Exclamation point. My name is Luke Carter, and I'm a fan of your collectible card games. If you've ever taken a look at my YouTube videos, you will know how appreciative I am of the merch that you've sent me over the years. So it was a great surprise to learn that there is a digital version of inscription. I think maybe one of my fans pranked me and buried a copy in the woods near my house. Upon further research, however, I have not been able to find any record of this game. Is this How is he? Hoax? He's emailing a specific person? Any trace of he didn't even game. type anything, this did he? Of elaborate hoax. The game doesn't seem like the work of a prankster. It at least appears professionally made. <laughs> appears. I'm puzzled and excited it is. This discovery. Any information you can provide would be much appreciated. Thank you, the lucky Carter. Okay. Good enough. Send it. Send. Yeah, that last sound he made is the sound of a butt plug. It's a nice shirt. <clears throat> hey card gamers i'm the lucky carter and this is card well, charts it's a bit of a strange video um it's actually more of a question to my audience as i've learned over the years nobody knows card games better than you guys do so i'm hoping someone can help me out here did anyone ever play an inscription video game or hear about it I'm talking about that this is too meta. one set card game I opened packs for last week. No. Yes. I don't know what I'm allowed to say. I don't want to get in any trouble here. Um, I think I've got the only known copy of the digital version of Inscription. Why don't you just make a copy of I've it? I've been uh, filming it myself out. playing it, and uh, it. it's weird, guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't want to get in any hot water by showing the footage, but... Can someone please prove me wrong? Please tell me someone has a copy of this game. I have been looking online for days and I cannot find a word about it. I reached out to the publishers hoping maybe... This feels like to me, me the one time in, in yeah, Wally Hopefully dig up that there is live um, video footage. That's it. <laughs> that's the video today. Of guys. the CEO uh, so of By always. and Large talking and, um, to the people on the spaceship. Oh, yeah. Uh, telling them that. What the fuck is the car? Wait, 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 wait. As well as beautiful viewers. Back. Get reached out. I'm looking online for days and I cannot find. I'm going to take that. I reached out to the publishers hoping maybe they would get back to me. But as a fallback. I got you beautiful viewers. The zeros and ones. I'm going to take a screenshot um, of it. I'm going to type it into an ASCII that's translator. <laughs> that's the video today, guys. 
Uh, thank you so much, as always. And, um, oh yeah, uh, what the fuck is the car? Oh, look how his eye is blackened. Screenshot. What the fuck is the car? <laughs> Mr. Carter, we have received your inquiry regarding a digital version of our intellectual property inscription. We can assure you that no such software exists in any official form. However, if you have indeed come into possession of proprietary game from the hardware, you are compelled to return it to us under the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. The hardware will be considered stolen if it is not returned to us within a reasonable time frame. Please carefully package the hardware and paste the attached shipping label to the front of the box. You may mail the package at a local post office. We would like to avoid taking legal action in your case, so please do not delay in returning the proprietary software. Sincerely, Game Funa, customer happiness. Um, customer happiness. That's the opposite what of the getting fuck? a legal threat. <laughs> You can't honestly deal with card games, but you're very curious about this whole story thing. I've never really played a card game like this strategy wise, and I, even though I'm still making mistakes, it's still a lot of fun to learn and just to see how intricate some of these mechanics are entwined. And they've totally like flipped the card table precisely in that I was playing one game and now it's entirely different and it's exploring the lore and other details of it so I know I missed some things in that first part but I would like to find out or see if somebody else has footage of it just so I can know I think this woman's actually from Game Funa she came to my door yesterday and I didn't answer this time I'm gonna record it creepy you're gonna die bitch nice stereo Hi. Hi there. Hey. I'm Floppy Disk. I'm redacted. Rip, rip, rip. Floppy Hold there. up. Hey. I'm a bunch of numbers in binary. I'm Floppy Disk. Hold up. Can I go frame by frame? Hi there. Hey. I'm redacted. You're considering playing it, but you're mostly curious. Yeah. Right now, I believe it's on sale for like seventeen, eighteen dollars, and I've already gotten. Nine hours out of it, but I also know that you're playing a whole bunch of other games. It's up to you. Copy disc for a game called Inscription. I was told you came by a copy of it somehow. Uh. Sound familiar? No. No. No, I don't know anything about that. Really? Inscription, you said? Yes. No, I don't think so. Really? Because um, apparently you emailed us about it. You are uh, a <laughs> Luke Carter, right? Oh. You know Luke the Carter. Lucky Carter at gmail.com. Yeah. Uh, gmail no, that's, yeah. Uh, that's my Luke porn Carter name. Really? Because uh, I just noticed because I've seen your videos. Oh. <laughs> I'm a big fan. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that right? You want to have Thanks sex? Yeah. Close the Listen, door. Uh, how did you know where I live exactly? Oh, uh, my internet. boss gave me your address. And how did you get past the side gate? I it's jumped locked. over it. <laughs> okay, Luke. Um, I'm going to give you my business card, and if you remember anything, anything at all, feel free. To what give is me she gonna off. do? Like, flash okay. his memory? Like, take care. She's Men in Black. Card gamers, Look, I'm the Lucky Carter. Is he growing a beard here? Opening video. Today I'm opening Secrets nice chest of here. Legendaria. Hoping for that sweet, sweet foil Valamir. Do you think they hired hired a real actor? Is this like the actual software developer, one of the software developers who opened this? Can he not open the card deck? Is he gonna die? Can't he doesn't like cards anymore. Is he gonna kill himself now? It's all red. Um, I was gonna stop here since I've played for two and a half hours. ISO two hundred.
Wait. I have 11. Dude, my Ori Boro card from before, kind of clutch. You wish to trade. Yeah, I want to see what they have. Nothing new here. I don't think I want to pack. I want to go back to the other trader to see what new cards he has there. What is this? This is accidental. I didn't know this was a thing. This is the Mushroom Boy? Uh. Uh oh. Mm. He found us here. This. This is good. This is good. Um. We require. We require. We require duplicates. Do you see the diagram? Two of that. Thank you. Oh, you. You have card? Yeah. This is good. Close your eyes. This will be gruesome. Show me my new Gravedigger card. Thank you. Here is your price. Double bone? <laughs> Double bone! Double bone! Double bone! Spore digger, his name is. It's not grave digger anymore. It's spore digger because now he has spores at the end. They like extra bonus to him. Do you see the diagram? Two of that. Please. You have done well. Now, hand the cards over. Yeah, two field mice cards? Yeah, I'm not gonna use them! Close your eyes. Make it a better place. Would you like to see what we've done? Spore mice. When spore mice is played, a copy of it is created in your hand. Also, when spore mice is played, a copy of it is created in your hand. Omega! Mice fucking mate. We require for our our experiments. We require duplicates. See the diagram? You actually have the cards? Good. Hand them over. Double sentry? Look away. Spore sentry. How can you put mushrooms on robots? I believe this research has brought us one step closer to understanding. Shh, 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 shh. We must not speak of that. Sentry Spore. When a creature moves into space, they are dealt one damage. They are also dealt one damage, so they are dealt two damages. Two of the same. I don't know what that is, but I accidentally went to that house. The little mushroom house, the little toad item house, and all I was really trying to do was just go see the trapper. You wish to trade? Oh yeah, nothing good. Except for like the, the squirrel ball. I never got to see that thing go through that machine, but maybe it was for better or for worse. I think next time I play this game, I'm gonna go and take care of these last two somewhat bosses, but look, they don't kill me like they were in the first act of this game. The crazy new game plus card. Wild. 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 All right, everyone, thank you for joining. I appreciate your time and have a great happy Halloween. Stay safe, be gay, do crimes, and be sure to tip 
the people who work in service jobs because America sucks. Meh. Have a good night. Oh, even if you're not in America. But it's mostly an American-centric comment because it's a gig card. I mean, tip-based place. I still... I'm going to go back and watch this other person play Inscription that did something with that jar of goo that was giving hints. And I want to say I missed something, but I, how am I going to go back and play it when this game forces me to play through the same maps a couple times in a row? But they're teaching the player how to play the game, and then I just keep throwing mechanics. There's so many new mechanics that just happened in today's playthrough, so... Peace. I might play again tomorrow, honestly. I'm not doing anything else. Bye.